Hey guys, so today I were trying out the new benchmarking program for Android called 3DMark from, I think it's the guys behind, or FutureMark. Uh, so we do have the Galaxy S2 Plus, the new Galaxy S2 here, uh, which is having another GPU and it chips it. It's the Broadcom, Broadcom chipset and also a different GPU instead of the Mali 400 GPU that you get in the original Galaxy S2, you get the Broadcom Video Core IV GPU. So it will be fun to see how they uh, perform in this test. From my experience, the Mali 400 in the Galaxy S2, the original Galaxy S2 is better than the Galaxy S2 Plus. So uh, we're on this iStorm benchmark program or benchmark test here in 720p. Uh, so let's do this. So right now you can see that the, the Galaxy S2 Plus, it's at the bottom. And I already made a test like this with the Galaxy S3 Mini versus the Galaxy S3. And I got around twice the performance with the Galaxy S3 versus the Galaxy S3 Mini. We can see here that uh, already here in the beginning, the Exynos is uh, already starting up the test faster than the S2 Plus uh, little, uh, you know, S2 Plus uh, chipset, which is the Broadcom. It's a little bit slow here. It's extremely slow. There could also be one other thing that is changed in the specs with the S2 Plus that it has like some maybe some new Bluetooth update or maybe you know some, some tiny little thing there that they also changed in the internals. Well, overall, I would say that the, Gal the original Galaxy S2 here performs, you know, better, both GPU and CPU-wise. It still loads the first test here on the Galaxy S2 Plus. And there we go. Hmm. <laughs> so as we can see here on the S2 Plus, you really get a lot of problems. Uh, you can't even see the graphics. So th this could also be, you know, a sign of that you can get a lot of, you can get a lot of problems. Uh, with the S2 Plus uh, in a lot of newer games, maybe you will get some graphical problems. While the uh, Mali 400 GPU and the Exynos chipset inside of the original S2 is, you know, developers know that processor, developers know that GPU, uh, so they have developed their games for that one. While when you buy a phone like the S2 Plus, uh, this could be the result, which of course ain't that fun. It's not fun at all. And of course now, just because we don't see anything going on here on the screen, uh, we can see that we get higher FPS here uh, than what we get on the original S2. But we will let this one run here. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get a weird result on the S2 Plus just because we don't see anything going on here. Pretty sad. I 
And I don't really see uh, the reason why Samsung made the Galaxy S2 Plus. Maybe they had problems with, uh, you know, doing the Exynos processor or something, the Mali 400 GPU. No idea. But it is a little bit sad. <laughs> we didn't even get the score on the S2 Plus. That phone fails so hard. It, it's a fail phone. I don't, I don't, I don't know why Samsung did this phone. I mean, really, I don't, I don't know. I, I have no idea. It, it's uh, weird for me. So at least we got the score here on the original Galaxy S2. That was a score of 1,569. I'm pretty sure it was kind of similar to what the, the score I was getting on the S3 Mini. Uh, so yeah, a little bit sad here, we didn't get any score on the S2 Plus, but um, I, I'm pretty sure why Samsung made this phone, uh, no idea. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you did enjoy this video, video and if you want to see more comparisons between different phones, please let me know that in the description down below, or in the comment section down below. Yeah, have a good day.